This guy, he's great. Thank you, Brendan Patterson. Thank you, thank you. This guy, this is the guy right here. This is the face of artistic expression. Uh, he just did this one. This one's very good. I like his stuff. I like his stuff. That man knows his way around water? Yes. You can tell that's the face of a hydrated man. That is the face of a hydrated man. I'll tell you that much. And now this whole stream. Sharon 1911 just Thank you, Sharon. Subs. Now this whole stream has been uh, copyright claimed and all of the earnings will go to a fish. A large fish man. I haven't seen the movie yet, but this is serving Edward Scissorhands. Yes, uh, I think that's why I like the soundtrack. It's reminiscent of those old uh, Danny Elfman vibes. The movie, not, eh, it's not as much, but it's reminiscent. Uh, Jay Shetty is performing at my work. YouTube Theater in LA. You guys need to book there and I can help. The Shet. God, I could go for one of his smoothies right now. I could go for one of those. But I've got water and that's all I need. That's all I really need. How are you guys doing? What's up? Tuesday. Tuesday, Tuesday. Give yourselves a pat on the back. You've made it to Tuesday. No more patting on the back. It's over. It's over now. Let's let's crank the light a little. I'm a little dark here. Wow, look at that. I just oh yeah, let's let's crank the light a little. Let's really illuminate my neck beard. There we go. Let's get that beautiful come on. Show it off, baby. Let's really get that. Let's really, I want to see every pore. I want to see every little ungroomed random mustache hair. Let's see it all. Life is good. Thursday morning shave stream. How many subs for me to uh, leave just the neck beard? Just kidding. I won't do that. <clears throat> I shouldn't have even put that in the air. Ignore that. I need a button that dumps me saying that. Need pupils looking dialed the fuck in? Thank you very much. That's very sweet of you to say that. That's very kind. I love when people compliment my pupils. It's very nice. I had this guy... Uh, <clears throat> I had this guy in my... Uh, what was the class? I took this class in high school. Uh called let's see it was called avid advancement via individual determination sounds really uh you know sounds totally did not made up right uh these are students who are capable of completing college prep curriculum, but may be falling short of their potential. Yes. Sounds like MLM. We had that. You did give off avid kid vibes. I was horrible in the class. Um, a class for people who are not reaching their potential. I didn't really reach my potential in there. Uh, one of the main reasons why... Uh, I wasn't reaching my potential in Avid when I was in high school was because I was, at the time, I was really into the movie 21 starring Kevin Spacey. <laughs> Remember this guy? <laughs> I was really feeling the movie 21. So I would sit in the back of the class. Katy from Dallas and, just gifted one subs. And I would just sit and I would, uh, I would... I would try and learn how to count cards. 
Katie from Dallas, thank you for the gifted sub. Gifted to Alina. Shout out, Lena. Shout out. Thank you for tuning in. Lena, AB, and I went on a run. Well, I'll say AB went on a run, and Lena and I um, were dying for breath and oxygen um, in the in the back. So that was good. That was a good time. Uh, running, my running could use a little work. Did you at least learn how to count cards? No. I would sit in the back or trying to learn how to count cards. I even had like a book. Uh, let me see if I can find sh the book. <laughs> I'm sure I bought the uh which one was it and keep in mind I was like 15 years old horrible at at uh at math my brain w did no good working well you know and I'm sitting there thinking that I'm from Dallas capable of doing this sucks. completely delusional Katie from Dallas, thank you again. Thank you, thank you. Are you good at poker? No. I don't know why. I just saw the movie. The movie, I was like, oh, this seems like a good time. <laughs> they. It really spoke to me when that came out when I was like 13 or 14 years old. Which book did I buy? I don't remember. I I did delude myself into thinking I could do it. But anyways, all that being said, circles back to why when I was in this class, AVID, students capable of completing college prep curriculum but maybe falling short of their potential, I'm in the back of the class going like, all right, that's an eight. That's a plus one. All right, that's, that's and I don't know what the fuck I'm saying. I don't. I have no clue. The super strange hyperfixation in high school happens to the best of us. Yes. Yo, I was in Avid. Shout out Avid gang. I, I ended up quitting Avid. You're meant to do it all four years. You like you're signing a contract, or at least you had to in my school. You have to sign a contract essentially committing to four years, all four years of high school in this class. And the class is meant to prep you to get accepted into a bunch of colleges and maintain a certain GPA, stuff like that. <clears throat> I couldn't be an avid. I was not deemed college bound. Yeah, I sounds like a scam. Quits Avid because it was getting in the way of your potential. I love all those fake-ass contracts they had you sign as if it had any bearing on anything. Yeah. Uh, well, I ended up... I, I, I broke contract. Somehow, I wasn't, I wasn't sued by the school district. Somehow. Insane. I broke contract and I switched to another class and the name of the class was literally just called GarageBand. And all we did was learn how to use GarageBand and then we had to make a song. And that is what I did. We had to make, he's on the run still, yeah. Do you have the song? Well, we had to make, we had to make one original song that was an actual like artsy song and then we had to make a commercial song you know what i straight up might still have my commercial song because a, a buddy of mine sent it to me recently who was also in the class sort of reminiscing Let me let me try and find it here. Thank you, Tyler Grimes, for the follow. Thank you, thank you. 
Where is that thing? I'm going to find it. I think I think it was recently sent to me. Uh but yeah, I I also I wasn't even that good in in garage band class either. Um I was playing Pokemon Black <laughs> in the background. I was that I was that kid, isn't that awful? Isn't that horrible? Um It was like I I got into that zone where I'm like, "Hey, this is Look it, I'm not I'm it I'm kind of ironically embracing things that may seem childish and it's it's actually cool and I and I'm not ashamed. He definitely played Rock Band in 2010, bet you anything. Oh fuck yeah. The Beatles Rock Band was such a vibe. Uh Beatles Rock Band was so good. I wish I could play I, I, I should do I'd love to play Beatles Rock Band on stream. I could set up the camera over here and really just jam out and then get my channel taken down for playing Beatles music the whole time. I can crush on Beatles Rock Band. Rock Band's one of those games that it's 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 unfortunate that it's such a clutter game. I think there's probably been three times in my life as an adult where I'm like, man, it'd be so fun to play Guitar Hero or Rock Band right now. And then you buy all the crap and then you you play it for like a week or two. And then you're like, well, now I just have this crap. And then you get rid of the crap. And then when that urge hits you in another four or five years, you're like, fuck, I got to get that crap again that just takes up half of my living room. I have it in my basement. Perks of being a homeowner. Shout out. I'll have to ask that. Whenever I'm looking for a house someday, I will be like, yeah, but what really matters is what is the... What is the uh, garage band situation like? Okay, I'm sending my song. Let's see if this worked. My garage band song I made in high school. Let's see. I'm going to try and pull it up here. Can we pull a guitar here, a rock band? Yeah, sure. The age-old question, right? <clears throat> Let's see. Guitar Hero 2 was where where it's at. Genesis. <laughs> okay. All right, I found it. Oh, my Sharon God, I found it. 911 mm. just gifted one subs. Thank you, Sharon. Thank you, thank you. Okay, I found I found my high school garage band class project song that was the pur the purpose of the assignment was to make a jingle for uh, a product. So this is this is like sixteen year old Ian here thinking he's so funny. First off, I have to make a disclaimer. This is I don't know why. I thought it would be funny to read an excerpt from Genesis at the start of my commercial. I don't know why. That's sixteen year old XD random LOL Raffle. Um but my commercial was for the Swiffer Sweeper Duster. So that was that was my assignment. Let's see. Where where did it go? 
<laughs> All right. Here's my high school song for Swiffer Sweeper Duster Jingle. Genesis 7 1. The Lord then said to Noah, Go into the ark, you and your whole family, because I have found you righteous in this generation. Made this in GarageBand class. Circa 2010, probably. Swiffer, sweeper duster. Swiffer, sweeper duster. Clean it up. Swiffer, sweeper duster. Duster, no more mess. Swiffer, sweeper, duster. Swiffer, sweeper, duster. Rock and roll. Ever since my purchase of the Swiffer Sweeper Duster, my life has been so much better. Cleaning up messes has never been easier. I can now take on dirt and grime with ease. Thank you, Swiffer. What do you think, guys? Would you buy a Swiffer if that was a Super Bowl ad? How'd we do? Fire? C+. Plus. I'm going to buy a Swiffer right now. It's got a good hook. I'm sold. Yes, I think I got an A on that one. BRB going to buy a Swiffer? The Genesis really adds? Yeah, I thought so, too. I thought so. It really brings in a dynamic. You know, the, the best, uh, <clears throat> I think the best part of it, the, the real high quality aspect of it is that it's, it's the popping, the no pop filter uh, classroom laptop microphone from really really just hitting can you run it back <laughs> new stream intro it's kind of a vibe i gotta say the fact alive just gifted five g subs. factor thank you for the five gifted subs oh my god i'm gonna use that to go buy a swiffer 100 geck remix would go insane <laughs> It's a bop. Duster. Swiffer. Sweeper Duster. No more mess. Swiffer. Sweeper Duster. Swiffer. Sweeper Duster. Rock and roll. Ever since my purchase of the Swiffer Sweeper Duster, my life has been so much better. The shaker goes hard. Cleaning up messes has never been easier. I can now take on dirt and grime with ease. Thank you, Swiffer. <laughs> Those were the days. Those were the days. How long did you work on this? I think I had about a week. I had about a week. The duster moan. Sometimes you just dust too hard. And you just can't control your body. Make this a TikTok dance. I think we need to remix this. You know the, bro, I've already ripped the MP3. You know the worst part about this class is for some reason, we we had to do our final song, but we weren't allowed to do it in GarageBand. We had to perform it in front of the class. Because in the class, in GarageBand, we had to learn how to actually play very very basic versions of guitar and piano so we had to go up and i wrote this song i wrote this song why is it called garage band i think the idea was that we had to record ourselves playing an instrument and import it into garage band and then accentuate it with the garage band sounds so it was sort of a music class, but I had to go play guitar in front of the class with my shaky fucking hands. 
it's dead quiet. Everyone's staring at me. There's like 25 people in there. And I'm up there with my guitar. Sitting on this metal stool. Oh my god, I'm vis I'm, vi I'm mentally I'm I'm there. I'm back there. And I'm fucking up every chord. It's dead quiet in the room. <laughs> it's horrible. That's a nightmare I've had. Yeah. Uh and also because once again <laughs> Once again, because I was like, LOL XD, I'm the funny, I'm, I'm the, I'm the clown, I'm goofing around. My song was like a goofy song. I'm pretty sure, all, I don't remember much of the song. All I remember is the chorus and the chorus was, um, <laughs> wait, I wonder if I have the lyrics somewhere. The chorus was me saying horny fish are busting sea nuts. I think it was like elephants love to eat f peanuts and horny fish are busting sea nuts. And I think that was my chorus. <laughs> and I'm up there singing that in front of the class in like on junior year. <laughs> <laughs> I guess now it makes sense why <laughs> why um I played Shape of Water to start the stream. It all connects, guys. It all comes together. Oh no, that's some 16-year-old bullshit. Yeah. Yeah, that um that checks out. You know the funniest part though. The funniest part about it, after the class, this kid came up to me and he asked me if he could buy the song and he gave me 20 bucks. And I wrote on a piece of paper, I hereby transfer ownership of these lyrics to him. And I handed it to him and he gave me a $20 bill. <laughs> what if now suddenly some guy owns this song? Elephants eat peanuts, horny fish bust sea nuts. And we're, I'm going to be walking in... Uh, I'm going to be walking in, uh, <clears throat> you know, Uniqlo or something. And I'm going to hear uh, the latest, like, Billie Eilish. He's going to claim this stream. He's about to copyright strike. <laughs> uh, he can have it. He can have it. David get a remix? Yeah, it's when that new Olivia Rodrigo album comes out. Suddenly I'm gonna hear that those lyrics. And it's gonna be a smash hit. And I'll be like, wow, I I got shafted. 20 bucks. 20 bucks. That kid grew up to be Jaden Smith. <laughs> Yeah, lost opportunity. It's gonna be a situation like uh, wasn't like the guy the guy that um sold he, he like sold Victoria's Secret or something for like no money and it's exploded. Or the guy that uh found the brothers that founded McDonald's <clears throat> do a Rebecca Black style hyper pop remix. Yep. It's in the hands of Scooter Braun. Yeah. Yeah. How's the cat TV coming along? Um, What else we got in chat here? That kid grew up to be Zach Lewis live at the Roxy May 13th. Yeah, maybe. I should ask Zach if um, he can help me redo the song. That would be nice. Bring it back. Well, actually, we should redo the Swiffer song. We can totally, and then let's send it to Swiffer. I'll have to ask Zach if he could help me redo the Swiffer song without the uh, popping. Uh, 
someone earlier said let's make a song on GarageBand on stream. That would be fun. I thought of doing like a like a stream where I make a beat or something. <clears throat> so we could do something like that. Swiffer's song is already perfect. Swiffer song Ian's version. Yes, it's time. I need to re-record the horny fish CNET song as well. Because, uh, you know, I lost ownership. So. Let me, <laughs> let me see if I can find. There's no shot. I can find. Yeah, those lyrics are gone. I had them written in an old email, but it appears they're they're long gone. You gave away the masters. Yeah, you know, I I fucked up. I made a mistake. I blew it. How did I get on this tangent? I don't even remember. Uh Oh my god. The Swiffer song. What a classic. What a classic. You know, speaking of music, I think uh, I should be getting the new theme song for the channel uh, sometime tonight. I'm not sure if it'll happen on stream or not. But, uh, just resubscribed for two mixed. months. D. DB Valid X. Thank you for the resub. Thank you. Thank you. The, the lyrics are with the Game Informer emails. I think you might be right. I got to go hunt them down. My mom has been cleaning out her house because she's been moving and she has been sending me so many photos, old, old documents and things that are, let's see, pretty funny. I'll I'll show you guys one of them. I posted one of the pictures on my Instagram of me like excited on the computer when I was a kid. But yeah, I was scamming some kids out of Neo points. But let's see. <laughs> Here it is. I'll uh, I'll send these to to myself and I'll send them in the Discord. Uh, let's see. Which Neopet was your fave? Oh, I I know exactly which one, but I don't know what it's called. I'll have to find it. Um. By the way. Before I forget, <clears throat> I think we might do a Oscars Oscars special on Sunday. The Oscars are coming up this weekend. <clears throat> when at, at one point they gave me a, uh, I think it was a piece of a billboard like the um the print that they would put adhesive on and attach to a billboard i might have said this on stream before i i don't remember but it was uh it was just one corner of the billboard and it was for i now pronounce you chuck and larry which in retrospect, very questionable movie, right? <laughs> I haven't seen it in years, and I just know it is. But they gave me one corner of the billboard, and it was one piece of the billboard, and it was just Kevin Kevin uh, James's face. So it was it it took up my whole wall. It was like, this thing was like eight feet wide, 
and like five feet tall. And it was just like, I can't even zoom in. It won't let me zoom in as much as I need to. Oh, God. Here, I know what I'll do. It was <laughs> half of my bedroom wall. And it was basically this. <laughs> I thought that was so funny at the time. I had my bed right here. <laughs> so as you'd imagine, yes, a lot of action in that bed, as you could tell from someone who would do that. <laughs> Just the screaming. God, and it's gone. I don't know where it went. I don't know where it went, and I, I'm so sad about it. I would auction that off. It's such a shame. But yes, I'm thinking Oscar's special, maybe a drinking game. I'll take a shot every time they make a joke about Will Smith's slap and among other things I could I could put a whole game together there a drink whenever anyone goes long and they play the music to kick them off the stage bingo cards we could do bingo cards we could do bingo cards and uh a drinking game and the whole deal. And I'll just, uh, I can watch it. You guys can watch it along. I'll announce what's happening. I'll say who's winning. Uh, but we'll see. We'll see. I drink every time Avatar wins. If Avatar wins, I will blue myself. I wonder what the Moonlight moment will be this year. It's kind of a boring year for movies. It's a it's for Oscar movies, I'll say. It's just there's not a lot of spice. There's a lot of spice this year. There's not a lot of spice. But we'll see. We will see how it goes. Uh, oh, I was going to send the pictures that my mom's been sending me from, from, uh, her, her cleaning the house out here. Let's see. Let me send them in discord. The Broadway Hollywood, baby. Hooray for Hollywood. Okay, let's see. Select photos. I thought these were so funny. Movie themed drinks? Yeah, we could do that. We could do Avatar Blood. do a triangle of sadness charcuterie okay here it is <coughs> I, I wrote this in my journal at the time October 24th the year 2000, Tuesday. Don't drink alcohol. Don't drink it, guys. Just say no. Yes. S straight edge. Alcohol. Uh-oh, just took a shot? Oh, no. Come on. 
Don't dreck it, guys. You wouldn't... Come on. Dreck responsibly, people. Please. Please. Drink. Please dreck responsibly. They're, they're, they're drinking. That's not Avatar uh, blood. I'm not sure which that one is. No drinking. <laughs> yes. Uh, here was the other one I was sent. <clears throat> this comes... Uh, October 23rd. So wait. <laughs> so wait. I wrote this the next day. This was the day before, okay? October 23rd, 2000, Monday. I wrote, me mom had a baby. <laughs> and as you can see, there's the baby. And I guess they're all watching. This is, I should have put a content warning here for this very graphic, very graphic uh, representation of childbirth. I don't know if that's TOS. Um, I, if it is, I apologize. Uh, right there. But, uh, yeah. Me mom had a baby. A true Brexit geezer. And then the next day, don't dreck alcohol. I wonder if it was because I got a look at my little brother and I was like, what's, what's going on here? I don't, I don't know. I don't know the connection one after the other. Interesting timeline. My mom had a baby. Don't dreck alcohol. Did your mom say she couldn't drink because she was feeding the baby? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> Alcohol, baby. <laughs> that me, me baby was drinking. What happened between those two moments? I don't know. I really don't know. Morbid Madeline, thank you for the follow. Thank you, thank you. I realized as well that I have not, uh, I have not been shouting out the art channel on the Discord lately. I don't know if I ever showed this one, but it's it just I, maybe I did. There have there hasn't been too many lately, but the Dragon Llama with the Last of Sus Part Two just looks so good. Uh, that was one. There hasn't been too many lately, but I just want to shout out the art channel on Discord. This is a photo of Sam and I. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> Third generation farmers. Oh, no. I'm the son of a third generation farmer, married 10 years to the farmer's daughter. What is the implication there? Oh, I don't think I ever even showed this one. Last of Sus Part 1. It's great. I'll have to do another one when the finale rolls around. But if you guys have any shitty drawings or... No, these aren't shitty. I'm saying good drawings of me, shitty. Or anything like that. Goofy art or anything like that. Feel free to post it uh, on the Discord. It's always fun. I want to go through and grab all of them at some point and print them out and put them somewhere. It's always fun to see. Uh, Ian, wait. Okay, I'm waiting. Dude, I want to play Rock Band now. We were talking about it earlier. I want to play rock band. Can 
Can I play on PC? Sam's hot dog looks so gross, smothered in mayo. What we doing? You know, I I asked her about that because she was getting a lot of heat putting mayonnaise on her hot dog. Oh, here's here's a quick one from Sharon here. The Sladles. It's very good. It's very good. <laughs> it's so cute. I love it. Penny, of course, too, but she's very low res. She just looks like two headlights in the dark. Fizo Experience just resubscribed for two months. Hot dogs are supposed to be mustard and relish only. Oh, well, there you go. The Zoe, the Zoe experience? Is that the way it, it is said? The Zoe, the Zoe experience. Look, Sam's the one going rogue with the mayonnaise. I don't know. I don't know what the deal is. She's not here right now. She's at the gym, but you guys will have to grill her uh, uh, like, like the dog, like the dog was grilled and get to the bottom of that. Cause I don't know. I said to her, I'm like, I've never seen you do that before. And then we had a conversation where I was like, I don't think I've ever seen you eat a hot dog. We've been together over three years. And now I actually, it's made me question everything. I, I was very confused by it. Does anyone here use mayonnaise on a hot dog? Alice in Pyroland, mayo and ketchup is the superior hot dog. Well, there it is. There it is. There are some of you. There are some absolute lunatics in the chat. There are a couple. I love a mayo dog. Says puppy girl. Okay. Well, there you go. There you go. It's been spoken. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm trying to open Steam here. What is all this? What is all of this? What do they want? What's this crap? Can I search this? What, what can I do? Sorry, this is great broadcasting here. <clears throat> Whoops. I'm guessing they, they they probably don't have Rock Band on Steam, do they? No. No, they don't. don't hop in the Slater bus let's go get some dogs a dog might might hit right now a dog might hit okay so I gotta buy the Beatles rock band do I have to get the drum kit and everything like that's a big commitment because what do I do with it when I'm done? This guy is off his bleeding rocker 225 for the Beatles set. Off of his bloody, bloody, bleeming, bloody rocker. O2 by 4 just resubscribed for two months. O2 by 4 thank you for the resub. Okay, you know what? Let me check offer up right now. Actually, I'll do that later. Drums are a must. I guess I gotta get the drums. I, you know what? You know what would be fun? I will admit, you know what would be fun? Because <clears throat> what is there? You have the guitarist. You, you, you can play four people, right? Guitarist, bass player, drummer, and singer. If that's possible, I, I would be down to get three people in here and do a whole 
do a whole little rock band concert playthrough. We could run through the whole Beatles career. We could even kick out the drummer. If they fucking suck, we'll throw them out. Like Pete Best. Make him leave. Bring in a new drummer. We could we could do a whole deal. I want to see four people playing rock band <laughs> this could be us There's the keyboard? What the fuck? That's the same dude? I don't think it is. Whoa. I'm so lost on the keys. What? Rock band keys. Wait, rock rock band keyboard. Did that actually happen? What game? Rock band 3? How to use the new keyboard for Rock band 3? Rock Band 3 offers advanced gameplay and new keyboard controllers. Get that keytar. Yo, I never had that one. Check out how to use this new feature. You will need Rock Band 3 okay. and the new keyboard controller. That's Optional, crazy. A computer with music writing software, a MIDI keyboard, and the Rock Band 3 MIDI Pro Adapter. I don't want any of that. Step 1. The examine the new keyboard. He's rubbing his hands on that a little a little 25 piano keys span two full octaves below right, on a flat surface to play it like piano you can also plug a midi keyboard what so could like actually learn the keyboard i mean compared to the other wait can you do five player how many people can Play Rock Band 3. Seven? What the fuck? By going to all instruments mode? This mode is also required in order to play with two guitars and a keyboard at the same time, even if you want to use this. Let's see. What? How the hell?
three guitars. Wait, one plays guitar. Wait. I don't know. This is interesting. I'm definitely going to do it. We could get a whole band in here. We could put fucking... Uh, we could have lights. We could have lights. We could have a smoke machine. <coughs> Disco ball. Rock band concert. Let's go. I'm down with four people. I See, I'm such a Beatles rock band person, but I'd be down to try the other one. <laughs> rock band live at the Roxy. Yeah. I'm sure that's a level. Dude, this would be so sick. What position would you be? I used to like the drums, but I'd be down to try. I don't want to sing necessarily, even though I have great mic technique, as you heard on the Swiffer song. I don't know. We'll think about it. We'll mull it over. But... We'll, we'll we'll dig into it. I'm gonna I'm gonna do that a hundred percent. I just love this visual. <laughs> I want to be like these guys so bad. That's the American dream. You bet your you bet your bottom dollar, my friend. There needs to be more gameplay of a bunch of people playing Rock Band. And <laughs> There's not enough. Let's do Footloose. Yeah, let's do that. Not enough. I'm looking. You can have three singers at once in Rock Band? Three? That sounds like a nightmare. That sounds like a total nightmare. But anyways, <coughs> let's get to uh, let's get into the meat and potatoes of what this the stream title. Wait, is there like shitty rendered beetles in the game? Yeah, you've never seen it. It actually doesn't look that shitty, in my opinion. I think it, I think it was pretty cool. I mean, because it's very like stylized. This uh, game straight up got me into the Beatles when I was younger because I I I didn't really know the uh, extent of the catalog and playing the game and running through all these eras you do like the german you know nightclub show and then you move over to you you hit all other eras leading all the way up to like the rooftop show and apple records and all that stuff product placement on these streams getting out of hand i know I know I'm juicing up the Beatles rock band GameStop sales. The GameStops, the stocks are going up. I'm going to buy it in cosplay as Ringo Starr. I think if we were to do this, we have to dress up like the Beatles. I think we have to. Uh, there's no other option. I need all my Beatles looking people to play. I can I can pull off a beetle if I because my hair is kind of like I need a haircut bad, but I could I could I could pull off a beetle, I think. Cam could pull off a beetle. Jim could pull off a beetle. We need one more beetle. 
We can find somebody. Cam for Ringo? Yeah, I think he could pull it off. We'll find somebody and we'll do a whole jam. We are gonna, oh, it's, whew. switches up in the middle. Okay. Okay. Great. We'll do that ASAP. <clears throat> All right. Anyways, back to the stream title. We'll figure that out later. <sighs> so my neighbor's car got stolen. Um, my neighbor lives in my building. <clears throat> His car got stolen a few days ago. And do we get someone to play Yoko and break up the stream? Well, I mean, we gotta we we'll roll through all of the all of the ins and outs. Hey Ian, what's up? It's been too long. Hello, post. Postnet. <clears throat> welcome, welcome. A few years ago? No, no, no. A few, uh, did I say a few years ago? Uh, happened last week. <clears throat> happened last week. And it's, they didn't break in. I was reading about this. Uh, I, w I was blown away. Uh,. at they they someone torched a car in my old neighborhood it was weird just burned all night uh yeah that's that's pretty wild so <clears throat> i didn't realize this because my my neighbor's car got stolen and they had they showed us the security footage from their ring and the person walked up. The door had been locked. But they thought it had been locked. But then they just opened the door. Got in. Started the car and drove away. Now. I I had no idea. Keyless. Car theft. I didn't realize. The uh the extent of how this could happen it's from when you don't have a key that turns that turns your engine on i had no idea about this stuff RFID relay and MITM attacks aren't extremely common, but to someone who knows what they're doing, it's rev relatively trivial. Yeah, I uh, blew my mind. Can't leave keys by the front door. Yeah, I'm trying to find this article I was reading uh, about... about uh, all the ways to stop it from happening. Because I'm worried now, my our building doesn't come with, uh, there's not enough parking in our building <clears throat> for everyone to get a spot. So I have to park on the street. And I, it's a little worrisome. They never got my neighbor's car back police couldn't find it they took it to a location he could see it on the tracking uh on his uh his uh what is it air tag and then it stopped in some parking lot and then uh they disabled it and then it, it was gone police can't find it car's gone so
I found out like so keyless car theft it's when they use the signal from your keys the device transmits the signal to somebody else standing by the victim's car Relay theft is where the signal from a key for a so-called keyless entry car is captured by somebody standing outside the victim's house using a device. Postnet just subscribed. Thank you, Postnet. Thank you. Uh, the device transmits the signal to somebody else standing by the victim's car. This then fools the car into thinking the key is near it, and so it allows the doors to be opened and ignition to be started. This article is just going to teach people how to do it. It's how to stop it. But yes. Uh, educational article. We'll tell you how to stop thieves capturing a car key signal shortly. Keyless car theft can take only 20, 30 seconds. If you have to push a button on your car keys to enter your car, you are not at risk of being hacked. Only cars with the keyless entry system can be stolen using relay equipment. Use a signal blocking pouch, Faraday bag. Keep your car keys safe. I actually, I actually just got one of those. Hold on, and I also have to pee. I'll be right back. No one steal my car while I'm gone. Okay. What do we got on the recommended? The Shire, Peaceful Night, Space, Ambient Music, or Into the Astronomer's Dream. Which one? We're smoking chilled 420 SpongeBob. Which one do we want, chat? SpongeBob? Okay. I want to be in that car cruising into the bikini bottom on a warm spring evening. You and me both, brother. They're in the city. I don't I don't know what I don't know the SpongeBob lore of the city. SpongeBob bumming rides, of course. Still hasn't got his license. You know what? They actually just stole this car in keyless car theft. That's what happened. That's that's what happened. It's pretty fucked up. Mr. Krabs the type? Yeah, he totally is. So I actually just got one of these Faraday bags. Sam and I both bought one. <clears throat> this thing blew my mind. I bought it for my little key fob deal. I put this in, this bag, and my car wouldn't start. <clears throat> It, like, didn't recognize that there was a key in the car. So, that was pretty good. But I think Ruben is ripping on the back of my chair. I think we need to figure out how to... <clears throat> we need We need to make the ultimate... Theft proof Honda. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna grab this real quick. Really. Just you know, I will I will take all these modifications we end up doing uh, and do them to my vehicle so that uh, Mr. Krabs can't come and steal my shit. say hi to everybody nope that's a no he said fuck you guys not today not 
not today. Let's go ahead and put it in the uh, sort of the Mad Max. Uh, up this wheel just for my own uh, sanity here. Even though I made it way too thin. Well, that's going to be a problem in the Mad Max uh, wasteland, you know. Whatever. That's good enough. <laughs> All right. So first, we really uh, to imp to to improve the security of this vehicle. Step number one. Step number one. that we need like whoops a Faraday pouch all right that's step one that's pretty easy right What else, what else, what else do we need? Use a steering wheel lock. Another me method to prevent keyless car theft is by fitting a steering wheel lock or car alarm. Most modern car thieves are equipped with laptops rather than hand tools, so mechanical devices such as steering wheel locks can be a real deterrent. This is like the classic, I feel like. Oh yeah, that's the good shit. Hmm. That won't stop a wizard. Got a steering wheel lock. Uh, my car got stolen two months ago. Well, this is step one. We got to really soup this thing up. Ian, why are you looking at this stuff? Did your car get checked? My neighbor's car got stolen like two days ago. So. We're going to uh, make the ultimate uh, security uh, vehicle here. Why are you doing all this extra stuff? Just keep an alligator in the back seat? Well, we'll get to that. We, we just got to hit the basics first. You know? So, we got the Faraday pouch. We need the steering wheel lock here. We're, we're, we're just hitting the basics, right? So, let's... Let's just pretend Oops, th th that is uh, that thing's locked and loaded in there. Good. Okay, what else what else we got? Let's let's continue down the list here. <clears throat> uh, reprogram your key, but park defensively, yeah you go. We're in the wasteland here. Keep your vehicle tidy. Okay, mom. Okay, mom. 
We'll get your windows etched. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what? Wheel lock. Oh, oh yeah. Now that's good. It's like braces for, for Lightning McQueen. Yeah, let's grab one of those. That's good. getting started here, you know? <clears throat> Whoops. Okay, let's go ahead and throw <clears throat> one of those on. And yeah, I, I saw someone say, let's, let's do one on literally every tire. There we go. My dog and I are vibing to this music. It's chill. Brake pedal depress. I, I did see there. So there's brake pedal lock. I can't visually show this in the Photoshop, but that's pretty wild looking. great ideas with the only target one specific scenario you need something that's versatile it's costly but i think it's worth it to buy a ed 209 this bad boy yeah i mean that's that would definitely help the thing is because my my street has street parking it's already pretty hard to find a spot I don't, it would be rare for me to find two spots, one for my car and one for the ED209. As long as they don't have your key fob, you should be fine. You most definitely already have a wheel lock on your car if it's newer. Also, I know this sounds crazy, but you should actually leave your doors open because if not, they will break a window. Cali is the snatch and grab capital. All I have in my car is like usually at a time, like one uh, old, uh, you know, Chick-fil-A bag. And that's, uh, that's that. So if they want to snatch that, they can go right ahead. They can go right ahead if they so choose. Yeah, they will break your windows for Chick Fil A bag. I mean, yeah, yeah, I think so. Let's see. What else can we add here? What else do we got? Switch from TurboTax. Oh shit, love is up 20 viewers more than you. I gotta say, uh, usually I skip messages like that, but it's kind of weird energy. Rebablus just resubscribed for two months. Like, we're not really in a contest. Reba Bless, thank you for the resub. just kind of do our thing and uh, 
support each other and that's that but yeah I hope he's juicing Mr. Juice King Juice himself I think right out the gate we need a goblin if I hire the goblin though is that is that is that strange? I don't I don't want to hire him full time. Let's say it's because then I what I gotta keep the goblin on retainer to guard my car. You know it's uh I bet he's expensive. Ian, can I send you a package to your PO box with UK snacks? Yeah, sure. That sounds great. You got any jammy dodgers? You got any jammy dodgers? Definitely no division. I was totally joking. Yeah, it's all good. I understand. Uh, let's see. So, what the fuck is a jammy dodger? Well, sure. The Rabrandt just resubscribed for two months. This right here. Grabrant F resubbed with Prime. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. Uh, let's see. You need to put that big picture of Kevin James in the window to scare away the thief. Hi, Ruben. That's actually a good idea. Uh, I'll but go ahead and throw up the, uh... Come and just subscribe. Ruben, you're rubbing your little furry face on the keyboard, sir. And it's making it hard to type. Did you know that? Did you know that? You want to say hi to the people. Good boy. You're so good. He cut his forehead open and it's so annoying. I don't I don't know what to do. He he has this thing he does. You can kind of see it right over on this side. He'll do this. He'll cut his forehead open cuz he scratches there so hard. And then when it starts to heal, he starts itching it again. And then he opens it again. And it makes me feel so bad because we've tried to use cones on him. Um, we've gotten medicine from from the the vet to help him heal, um, but he always ends up cutting his head open again. It it, it makes me sad because I want him to completely heal. He's always opening it back up. Look into blue butter on Amazon for the scratch. Works for my doggy. I'll take a look. Cat nail caps. Yeah, we tried that with Penny once and it just... <clears throat> she took them off so fast. My dog does that too. It's so hard to heal fully. Yeah. It's so annoying. CVD helped my cat with over grooming. Yeah, it's weird because he only does it right there. He won't do it anywhere else and he'll even fully heal in that spot and then he'll just do it again <clears throat> are his ears itchy it's so strange I don't know something about that one spot and we were worried that it was something, um, something in the, in the environment or something like that, that was, that was throwing him off. But, uh, he did it at our old apartment too. And we kind of got rid of most of our stuff when we moved over and, uh, he still does it. So, 
but I think he does he deserves a he deserves a shrimp. You want a shrimp? God, this thing stinks. I second coconut oil healed my dog a few years back. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, I, maybe we can try something new here. Ruben, we're low on shrimp. We're low on shrimp. Oh, the good stuff. Oh, get a whiff of that. He just hit this and went. Here you go, Bubba. like an uncooked shrimp. Did you know that? Did you know that? My cat is also having a treat right now. Shout out. Treat solidarity. Let me see if I... Man, I was thinking of showing the theme song tonight but i don't think i will have enough time but now he's trying to boy. dig it out Bo of underscore drawer. trevino just gifted five subs oh my god Bo trevino thank you so much thank you thank you hey hey you little goblin you little goblin hold on i gotta show you guys what he's doing <laughs> no 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 hold on i gotta show you ruben he he knows where the treats are. Let's see if he does it. He knows they're in that drawer. Look at him. He's so mischievous. See, it was the wrong drawer. It was the third drawer up. Hey! Hey, hey! No, no. You are a little goblin. Did you know that? You're a fiend. You already had shrimpies. You can't have more shrimpies. I'm sorry. Oh my god. Yep, go on. Look at those little legs. You look like you're wearing little fuzzy pantaloons. Oh my god. No. No, look at what you guys have done to this bag. Look at what you've done to the bag. Oh my god. No. No. Look at you spilled some there. There you go. Barrel. Call this man Will because he's feral. Enjoy it. Congratulations. No more. No more, sir. You did it. Everyone's very proud of you. I gave him shrimp. I gave him three shrimps. He's had enough shrimps. <laughs> He's had enough shrimps. <clears throat> this is how my cat is with greenies. And churus, which I call cat gogurt. I'm not familiar with that one. Oscar buzz for that performance. I know. Watch out, Brendan Fraser. We got a new 
big dog on campus. Brother. Multivitamin. There we go. It's a little better. How many of these do I give them a day? Quarter cup. Okay, you can have a here. Have a have a couple. There you go. Don't spend it all in one place. Ah. <sighs> All right, guys, we learned about car theft. <clears throat> We're feeling good. Check if your car is thief proof by putting shrimp treats and seeing if Ruben can break in. That's a smart idea. Gonna go to sleep. Goodbye, everyone. Good night, Laura. See you later. Thanks for stopping by. Shimmery summer sun. Welcome, welcome. Reuben, sir, you cannot keep eating treats. Oh, he's so mad, too. He's so angry. Um, let's see. Uh... Where is, there we go. All right, I think we need, I don't know, what else What else we need? He isn't going to stop, I know, he won't stop eating the treats. He's, he's a monster. He's going crazy. Ruben, you have to chill, brother. You really have to calm down. Where's your sister? Penny's not doing this. She's a nice, precious little queen. You give up? Nope. Just give it a rest, Butterball. to eat the treats. Penny's joyriding in the neighbor's car? Yeah, you're probably right. Penny with the fob? Yeah, you think she, he's sending a signal? Oh. I put the treats way in the back of the drawer, too. Oh my god. Just give it a rest. We need the camera in the drawer POV? That's actually really funny. <laughs> Let me try that. That's funny.
This is how annoying is this? <laughs> if I were a viewer, this would drive me fucking insane. Okay, we got it. We <laughs> we got it. We got it. We got the POV cam. And I'm just gonna act casually. Ruben thinks that I'm distracted right now. He thinks I'm totally distracted. He thinks the shrimp treats are up for up for grabs. He doesn't realize that we've got a security camera. He thinks he's in the clear. Yeah, so anyways, we're we're work we're looking at security for a car. And uh <clears throat> Yeah, I'm thinking, you know, we got the Faraday patch, we got the wheel locks, uh, maybe a ring of fire would be good. Uh, what about like a Home Alone, like a paint bucket that uh, drops from the ceiling? And, uh, you know, that would be really good. He's not, Ruben's not taking, Ruben's not taking the bait yet. He's not taking the bait. I think he's too smart. <clears throat> I want to follow Sam. What is her Twitch? Uh, it's Sam's Gone Ham. He knows he's being watched. He he's he's sitting right. He's right down here, right in front of the drawer. He knows. I think he's trying to play it cool. Ruben can smell a narc. I think he can. I need to stop saying his name because when I'm saying his name, he's looking at me. Oh, oh. <laughs> Look at him. Look at him. He is such a little thief. He is such a little thief. He wants that shrimp so bad. Oh my god. Okay, he jumped. Okay. He's up on the counter or up on the table. He is so funny. Yes. Yes, sir. Ruben came up to read chat. I want more of POV of him digging through the drawer. <laughs> it's so funny. Put a GoPro on him. Let's see if he takes the bait. Go on, take the bait. I think he smells the shrimp on me. So it's throwing him off. But you want gorge. Keep the Jeek just resubscribed for two months. Let's go we Sam Shock could we heart eyes. Keep the geek. Thank you for the resub. Thank you, you so much. Gorge. Man just gifted one sub. And Beeperman, thank you for the gifted sub. Appreciate you. Thank you so much. Will you eat a shrimp? I don't know. I he would be so mad if I ate one of his shrimps. He would be furious. Look at he's he's pushing on the microphone. He's so mad. Come on. Oh, he's he's right by the drawer. 
He expects you to feed it to him, probably? I think so. Well, I already gave him, like, five shrimps. I don't know. What else could we add to our car? I think we can add a goblin. I'm gonna go ahead and throw one on here. Oh, he's digging into the drawer below right now. He was waiting for me to get back to talking about the car situation. Put a goblin who's just kind of watching over things. He'll uh, ask you to solve a riddle. Oh, huh? wait! Oh my god! Oh my god! He opened the drawer. He opened the whole drawer. Wait, no, you can't do that. That's illegal. That's an illegal maneuver. <laughs> That's an illegal maneuver. Here, have a treat. There you go. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. He's never opened the drawer before. He was plotting. He was plotting and planning this whole time. <laughs> Oh my god. Wait, did Ruben steal the neighbor's car? He might have. There's little shrimpies that spilled all over the drawer. He's so bad. Oh, I think Sam just got home. He's he's such a bad boy. There are shrimpies. Oh my god, there's shrimp all over the drawer. Oh no. Oh no. I am so fucked now. You can't get in the drawer. He, he, he put shrimp. He spilled the bag of shrimp everywhere in the drawer. Not the shrimp, Cam. Yes, because he kept sticking his little paw to pull the shrimp out. Sam just got home. Don't feed him. Don't overfeed him shrimp. I'm not. He's stealing it. I can't believe he spilled the whole bag. Shrimp now he's bag. going feral for the bag. So bad. Bad boy. Now there's little shrimp. Little. You, I mean, you have to just let him eat it. Why particles. do you have so many iPhones? All my old broken phones are in here. <laughs> Show them. I could dispose of. Oh my god, there's shrimp all over this drawer. Why do you have so many iPhones? Four phones. They're all covered in shrimp <laughs> residue. <laughs> My old iPhones. Ruben, this let, is. Are really gonna let this man hoover this shrimp up? Oh, what do I do? You want to get the vacuum? What do we do? We have to get rid of the shrimp bag. 
He's getting rid of it right now. Like, this is done. This is done. He let him eat some shrimp. He ate plastic by the look of it. Sir, this is not a good POV. You're Naughty Nunu, -Nu, the vacuum, <laughs> the evil Ruru. vacuum. He's naughty Ruru. Naughty Ruru. <laughs> Ruben, give us a better angle. This is a horrible camera angle. You know his shit's gonna smell rancid. Yeah, please. I know. These, it's I, gonna be literally I've said horrible. when he does this, it's Bubba Dump. M Bubba Dump Dookie Cum. <laughs> now, what are you just looking through some art? What is that? <laughs> Oh, those look like the. It looked like some weird, like old nude photograph. That's what I was worried about. <laughs> no. I I got this. What was that thing of the man and the woman with the crotch stuff? <laughs> I I found this Even art book. What was that? Oh my OMG! I found this art book. Uh, of this guy. I forget his name. He does, uh, Ruben. <laughs> Art in quotation marks. He does... I'd have to ask Cam. I, I don't... He does, like, this cool... Kind of weird, uh... Little sketches. I forget the name of the artist. But... I... Found it at this, uh, comic book store the other day. It's like a bunch of them. And that was, I cut all the pages out. The guy that makes Dilbert? No, not that guy. Uh, the book is called, the book is called Free Shit. So if someone can find the artist, uh, I just thought it was kind of cool. Some of them are like kind of, uh, like I guess semi explicit looking so I'm trying to be careful of which ones to show was it free it wasn't I had to pay for it here's a free shit uh, here it is I guess Like here's the, here's one of the art you can see the style, but then this was what was on the back that you guys saw, and then I guess he drew it. I don't know. But I was thinking of I I cut this out. He is still going. Ruben, the phone is down now. <laughs> you look at it every night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought of uh, the more like blocky looking drawings in here. Um, I thought of like like papering them all over here. Could be cool. selective <laughs> and it's not some weird diaper photo sorry you gotta get out of the door now it's not jeremy fish is it no i don't think so um I would just, I would, I would paper the whole uh, thing with all these. <clears throat> all right, Ruby. 
You're cut off, dude. You're cut off. No more shrimp. No more Reuben can. You're done. You're done. Charles Burns? I think that might be it. Yes. Yes, this is the guy. He wrote this book, Black Hole, which I, I read um, uh, one time. But, yeah. Okay, this is the book. Free shit. So, I tore all the pages out. That's what that stack is, guys. I don't want you to think you freaking caught me in some weird shit, okay? I'm not gonna do it. You can go find the diaper lady in this book right here, okay? Ruben, you're trying first you eat all my shrimp and then you try and set me up for some sort of LSF live stream fail? Is that what you're doing to me? Ruben tried to expose you? I know, seriously. Why are you whispering? Are you hungry? I didn't want to disturb you. What is this outfit? It's my onesie. Come over. <laughs> Sam's looking like this Barney. This is my bedtime outfit. Whispering if I'm hungry. He has a flap for when you need to shit. A shit flap? That's yeah. nice. Can you get our son away from the shrimp? I've had no enough of shrimp. him. more shrimp. I know your dad enabled you, but you cannot have more shrimp. He tried to expose me. I know. <laughs> Look at you. I'm not shrimp. Shrimp? Everything is shrimp. I'll have to find the clip of him digging through the drawer. It was so funny. I wonder uh, if uh, there is one of those. Is anyone else's cat this bad? Does anyone else's cat grab their sleeve and try to concuss them? <laughs> you gotta see. Looks like a uh, Avery clipped this. Uh, here, one sec. It's so funny. Oh my god! I just died at the gym. Uh, let me move myself over. Ruben, Jesus. Oh yeah. my god, he opened the drawer! He opened oh my god, the whole Ruben, drawer! You're such a monster. Wait, no, he's, he's still going. That. That's illegal! That's an illegal maneuver! <laughs> <laughs> That's an illegal maneuver. That's so cute! Here, have a treat. There you go. Ruben, you are so good. <laughs> you're such a smart baby. I'm just kidding. You're so bad. We need you're the clip where he opened so the trash bad. can. I have it. Yeah? Send it on Discord. Send it to me and I'll show it. You're in the way of my mouse pad, sir. I've come here to ask what you would like to eat. Um, I am so hungry right now. What are you feeling? What are we feeling? I really want Subway. I'm thinking Subway or... It's because you smell all that shrimp in here. It's messing with your head. Subway doesn't have they have circus meat. You want that circus meat. Maybe. Everyone's shocked by Subway. Yeah, you, you want to put mayo on I a hot dog want, too? Like, they something... were all calling you out, by the way. And that's literally fine. Come... <laughs> I'm hitting the mic raw. No fuzzy thing. Put the fuzzy. You guys. Mayo on a hot dog is normal and good and fine. So. That's all I have to say. Mayo and ketchup. 
They say is, male on dog is normal. You guys had male a different, on dog is you normal. You guys had a different tone when Sam was gone. Are you calling them liars? <laughs> I'm saying that their tone is a little different. Okay, Avery, ayo, mayo on a doggo? Yeah, it's good. My, do- my dad won't eat a dog without mayo? Yeah. Yep, and sauerkraut. As he should not. You guys, uh, when Sam was not here, you guys were all, that's disgusting. It's literally so normal. I don't understand. It's good. It's a southern thing, Boston. I don't, I don't feel like it's a southern thing. I don't think it's regional. I think it's just delicious. We did not. We said it was good. Nora, you are capping. I'm sorry. Who is lying? Is Ian lying? Next, they'll tell you I was looking at spiders when I wasn't. I'm from Canada and I'm into it. Hello, people put mail Hell on yeah. their glizzies. They, oh, you guys. Ian, give Ruben the shrimp is what I see. No shrimp. Ruben's chewing on the microphone wire, so I think he needs a shrimp to He's distract feral. him. Where's Penny? She's being good. She's asleep on my pillow. That's very good of her and sweet. Okay. Ruben, you have to stop. You're being He's really out of bad. control. You're out of control this evening with the shrimp. We can eat Subway if you want. I've or said, I was I s- thinking, we had a huge. Place. What's the other place? Hold on. Sam's really sad when I was not crazy about Subway. I just haven't had it in a while. I'm Let's kinda, do it. I'm Let's do crazy. Subway. I'm down yeah. for Subway. I'll take a wheat six inch uh, tuna. A six inch tuna? Actually, turkey. What? A turkey sandwich? Someone said Subway is gross. The reason I'm like, I want Subway. But in a fucked up way. Because I, uh, my mom got really, 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 really sick from Subway once. And now I haven't had Subway that often since then. Ian got sick from Chipotle, so we can't eat Chipotle. I just don't know. <coughs> Let's do Subway. You want to order? Okay. You want me to just put fixes on it? Yeah, that's fine. Subway permanently destroyed my intestines. That's, oh, see, I really don't want that to happen to me. Firehouse sub is better. Firehouse is very good. I don't think it's better, but I do love it. Hook and ladder. Subway is fine. At least it's not Arby's, says Avery. Don't get Avery, Sam started about like, Arby's. Oh my god, Avery. Avery. Dude, it's just because of the Euro. Arby's Euro, Sam goes crazy for. Don't listen to her. You guys have got me. I'm really worried about Subway. Wait, why? If I get sick, dude. And the one that it's suggesting that we order from looks terrible. When do they not? They all look the same. They'll have the grungy... uh, I would not describe this one as grungy. It's, it's it? not. It's just doesn't look good. I don't know. It looks like they get shipments every one, like once a month. Circus meat. The circus is in town. All right. Can we please stop shaming Sam's food choices? Thank you. I'll okay. get the other. I'll get the other place. Let's get Subway. It'll be fine. Don't roll your eyes. You wanted it. The other okay, chat. The other option, I, I think it's only in LA, but it's Tender Greens. Do you guys know Tender Greens? So I'm between Subway or Tender Greens. That's a wild jump between those two. It kind two. of is, but um... Sam, go with your heart. Just get the Subway, bro. Well, I see. I really. 
what my idea, what I would really love right now. I really am craving tender greens, mashed potatoes, but I'm really craving a Subway sandwich. If I could have tender greens, potatoes, and a Subway sandwich, I would really love that. Jim said, those two are entire different leagues. What the fuck? That's what I'm saying. The no, jump. Well, I know. I'm just saying. That's just what my heart is telling me. This is like, do you want to go to the Bellagio or the alleyway behind the bowling alley? What do you want to do today? Sam is a complex person. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Gotta say your Wendy's baked potato wreck was on point. Okay. It's so good. I'm gonna let you decide. This is in your hands. Okay. Ta East Tiling 63 just gifted one subs. Taho Styling 63, thank you for the gifted sub. Thank you, thank you, legend. Icon alert. Why don't you get what you want from both? I spent an entire year living almost exclusively on Wendy's baked potatoes and my cholesterol skyrocketed. Yeah, but it was probably pretty good, right? Probably pretty good, I would say. <clears throat> yeah, I don't know. I've let it's in Sam's hands now. Maybe we'll just have an old bag of shrimp. We'll have an old bag of shrimp for dinner. That's called living life to its fullest. Yeah. I dare you. I almost went to pick up the shrimp bag to show it off, but Ruben is just on guard. He's just standing here. If I touch, if I even touch the shrimp drawer, he is suddenly like. He has to calm down. Don't reignite the conflict. Yes. I, I don't I don't want any trouble. I really don't. He's out of control, this man. He's out of control. Let me see. Let me check something one more time, real quick. Uh. All right. I had something I was gonna talk to you guys about, but I don't remember what it is. Unfortunately. We laughed, we cried, we showed the Swiffer Sweeper Duster commercial. We've lived, laughed, and loved. Right, guys? those things we lived yep we did that So I'm thinking of doing a more, I wanted to do a stream in the morning again, like I did last Thursday. It's going to be a pretty hard before leftovers. So I don't know. I don't know. But, uh, I'll try. I'll try.
Other than that, we might do an Oscar special on Sunday. Uh, Sam will probably do a Lego stream on Saturday. Not with that attitude. You can do anything if you just believe. Thank you, Avery. I appreciate it. I'll probably do... So if, if, if all goes according to plan here, what is it, Tuesday? <sighs> ideally, ideally, what would happen is that we would do... Uh, we will do a morning stream, wake up, get this gluten-free bread stream, Thursday morning. Probably, I, realistically, I would have to start it at like 6 or 6.30 a.m., realistically. So, we'll see. 